Gene Sparks here with a Big Ten Wrestling Spotlight. We turn our attention to Iowa City, the Iowa Hawkeyes, and joined by Tom Brands, now in his 15th year as head coach of Iowa and two-time national champion in 2020, Dan Hodge Trophy winner Spencer Lee. Coach Brands, I'm going to start with you. So much horsepower is back from last year's team. What is he most excited about this group? I'll tell you, Spencer Lee was a Hodge Trophy winner, but he was also the Sullivan Award winner. Um, that is a huge award uh, for amateur athletics, and I don't think that gets said enough. So good job, Spence. I'm excited about our, our best people um, every year, um, our best people meaning on and off the mat. Um, are we poised to you know run the table or whatever or do what we did last year and um, take on all comers and you know we won some we won some close matchups to win some close dual meets and um, won the big 10 and it was uh, down to the wire it was down to the last day and, and then we had three champs that really cemented it and really that's what it's about is winning championships we haven't done a good good enough job of that in the past, winning individual championships. So, yeah, I like where we're at, but we have to get better every day, and the philosophy hasn't changed. Um, I think one of the things that you'd be disappointed in hearing from me is that when people ask, um, you know, what'd you change? We, we didn't change much. I mean, we just – we got better people here. Our coaching staff is intact. Um, and we got Spencer Lee leading the charge. You know, he's the, he's the guy with the best credentials. He won three world titles before even, you know, two world titles before he even stepped on camp or committed. And then another world title before he stepped on campus. So, um, great there. And then you add Kemmerer, Marinelli, Cassiope, DeSanto, Young, Warner, Buren, and I could keep going. Um, it's about our people. I think Coach Brand's culture is one of those words that's thrown around uh, quite a bit. Uh, but you guys have a great culture there. You spoke about it recently, the last four or five years, and kind of you know rebuilding that culture. How would you describe the culture you have, and what is an aspect of that culture that you think has paid the highest dividends for the program? I think it's something that is very, very important, and I think Spencer Lee should talk about the culture because – you know, we can talk about it and, and try to coach it, but it's not something you coach. And, you know, you see those highlights on the sideline of, you know, Kemmer against Mark Hall and Carver Hawkeye Arena and the entire bench that's behind him and not just, you know, the backups that weren't wrestling. You know, Spencer Lee and Alex Marinelli were right there with him in backup. And Marinelli just walked off the mat, you know, 30 seconds before Kemmer took the mat in a loss. So that's culture. So let Spencer answer that question. Just like Tom said, they don't like tell us you have to be close. It's just something that happened when we got here. And every single guy on the team, they know that it's a brotherhood. And uh, we want everyone to be the best we can be you know, on and off the mat. And we look out for each other. It's just it's just awesome. People are I'm just blessed to be part of it. The season you had last year, nothing short of remarkable. Very rarely, Spencer, do we see dominance at that level when you assess uh, the performance of, of last year's campaign, what are a couple of things that come to mind and individually, what are you most proud of? I just think that towards the end of the season, I was listening more to the coaches in the corner. I think kind of when I got into college, it's a little bit selfish in the mat. If the coach had to cut somebody, I kind of didn't. I just want to stay on top and look for turns. But last year they were telling me to cut people and I, and I started cutting people and it opened up matches and I got to score more points than maybe if I didn't cut the opponents. And it's kind of funny. It only took me to my junior year, but <laughs> getting there. When you look at that Big Ten championship team of a year ago, you mentioned a lot of that horsepower uh, that you have in the lineup in the 10 weight classes. You lose Pat Lugo, who was number one seed at 149, but in comes Jaden Ironman, a transfer from Missouri, was a two-time All-American there for the Tigers. From a lineup standpoint, is he 141 and Mirren 149? Has that been decided? It's looking that way. I think they got together. It was a super secret conversation between the two of them, uh, Missouri and Pennsylvania there. But, and I'm smiling when I say that, but uh, Mirren's put on some size and it looks to be the direction we're going. We have Carter Happel, 
um, could go either one of those weights. He's a 41 pounder, but could, could, will back us up at either one of those weights and don't tell him that he's a backup. You know, these, these aren't weight classes that have been, you know, handed off to Mirren and, and Ironman. So, um, we're excited for everybody, whether you are, we're a big piece of that big 10 championship being in the championship itself, or if you were in a different role. And that's the other thing about, you know, a lifestyle, you know, you, you embrace the role that you're in, no matter if it's the role that you want or not. So, and we've had a lot of guys that, that do that. And every year we've had guys that are unselfish like that. So that that you talk about culture, that's another part of the, the culture. And that's not something that's easy to do either. Spencer, you got two national titles uh, looking for a third one will not come easy. Uh, some rumblings, I guess you could say, out of Piscataway that Nick Suriano perhaps might be dropping down to 125. You beat him in a, in a really good battle to win your first national title. When you hear that, what comes to mind? Does that excite you? I mean, it's just another good opponent to wrestle. It's awesome. Where I'm ready to wrestle anyone at any time. And whoever they are, you got to treat them like they're the best in the world. And whether it's Nick Suriano or, you know, whoever, it doesn't matter. We're just... You know, and it, you know, we have a good rivalry. We wrestled when we were younger a couple of times, and then one time in college, the finals was kind of funny. So maybe again, that'd be cool. Where has Coach Brands made the biggest impact on on you personally and on the mat? Um, I mean, <laughs> that's a hard question because they've done a lot. I always tell them that everyone that uh, they they pretty much drastically changed my life uh, for the better on and off the mat. You know, they just they teach good morals and ethics to to be a good person, a good student. They preach the things that you should definitely listen to. And and on the mat, you know, they change my wrestling style. You know, to be better. Uh, you know, they they coach to you. They coach to the individual. You know, Iowa wrestling is how I wrestle. Iowa wrestling is how whoever wrestles. It's just that's what's cool about it. They they can coach to whoever style that you are and how you wrestle. And and that was something that uh, really enticed me to come here because I always thought that. You know, I want to wrestle like them, but, you know, I'll, they're like, why don't you just wrestle like you? And I always really like to, you know, that's pretty cool to hear. Really appreciate the time. Uh, thanks for giving us some uh, insight within the program. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Awesome. For Hawkeyes, Tom Brands and Spencer Lee, I'm Shane Sparks. This has been a Big Ten Wrestling Spotlight.